In this video, we'll be talking about DNA repair machineries from proofreading activity of polymerase towards the mismatch repair and as well as the SOS repair system. DNA polymerase is not perfect. The enzyme occasionally inserts an incorrect base. DNA polymerase has the ability to reverse the correct the error by cutting out the incorrect nucleotide and replacing it with a new functional nucleotide. This is called the proofreading activity of the DNA polymerase. Now, during the replication, we can see the DNA polymerase detects an error, it reverts to the repair, its, uh, repair phase and this incorrect nucleotide is deleted, then new nucleotide is added. Even after proofreading repair, some error persists. To cope with these errors, a mechanism called mismatch repair may be activated. A special problem exists with a mismatch, which strand is correct and which is the mutation. At least in bacteria, the template strand is methylated and a methyl group is added to the adenine residues. The newly synthesized strand remains temporarily unmethylated. A pair enzyme binds to the unmethylated strand, a nucleus nicks the DNA strand, the DNA is unwound, then degraded and replaced until the mismatch reached and removed. Here is the methylation and then nick is done, then degra degradation and the replacement is made. Sometimes damaged DNA escapes all repair systems. When this happens, a final post-replication repair system may function. When DNA polymers encounters a lesion such as a thymidine dimer during replication, it first stalls, then skips over the lesion and continues leaving a gap in the newly synthesized strand. A protein complex, REC-A, directs a recombination event from the undamaged parent strand. This leaves a gap in the parent strand that can be filled by the repair process involving DNA polymerase 1 as seen earlier. Post replication repair is sometimes called homologous recombination repair, a more general category. Sometimes, in the bacterium E. coli, another system exists to repair DNA damage missed by the repair system. This is called the SOS repair system. After the well-known uh, distress call, okay, the SOS repair system creates conditions that allow DNA polymerase to, that allow DNA polymerase to replicate across a damaged area. This system is error prone and sometimes the wrong base is inserted, a phenomenon known as a SOS mutagenesis. A large number of gene products including LEX-A and RECA are involved in this process. When the LEX-A protein products is produced in it prevents the transcription of a RECA and another repair genes involved in the SOS repair system. However, if a RECA protein is present, it binds to the single-stranded DNA in the area of damage and activates the cleav cleavage of the LEX-A repressor. When RECA binds at the site of DNA damage, the regulatory capacity of the LEX-A protein is disrupted. SOS repair genes are transcribed and their protein products move to their repair site. REC A protein appears to form a bridge at the lesion and the SOS protein convert the lesion to an error prone site. This allows DNA polymerase to complete the replication across the gap.
some mutagenic agents create breaks across both strands of the double helix. Ionizing radiation such as X-rays and gamma rays, for example, is known to this. In mammals, a specialized form of repair, DNA double strand break repair or DSP repair system exists to cope up with this problem. Breaks across both strands of the DNA can also be repaired by a poorly understood process called homologous recombination repair, in which the undamaged strand is recombined into the damaged strand. This occurs in the late SG2 transition part of the cell cycle. This process is not well understood. When damage is severe, a non-homologous portion of the chromosome may be used to repair the breaks. Clearly, this process can lead to mutations. Now here are the conclusion. It is clear that DNA repair is an extremely important process and a wide variety of mechanisms exist to ensure genetic integrity. When this system fails, the result is mutation leading to abnormal cell functioning, cancers and cell death. A number of genetic diseases are thought to be associated with the defective repair processes. DNA can be repaired during and after transcription in the following ways. Proofreading and mismatch repair. Correct incorrect base insertion during replication process. Post replication repair. Repairs incorrect base insertion after replication is completed. Double strand break repair. Repairs break across both strands of a double helix. While DNA repair is essential to all life, ensuring the fidelity of the genetic information, the occasional failure of repair or uh, subsequent mutation is essential for evolution of life to new forms.